guys uh, welcome back to the channel it's been it's been a little while um, but I wanted to come on and I wanted to just uh, thank you guys so much for your prayers and your thoughts as I have gone through this um, very difficult uh, period in my life um, as uh, probably most of you guys some of you guys may not know um, I lost a sibling and um, a very close sibling and it was um, unexpected and um, me my other siblings we um, it's, it's been really tough. Um, I've, I've found myself um, really kind of losing my, just the ability to even come up with content or being motivated to do anything. Um, yeah, most of that I think is due to the loss of my brother. But also, you know, you have to factor in this whole pandemic and um, everything that has uh, dealt with so much um, racial profiling and um, just horrible death of, um, of our black men and women um, by law enforcement. So um, it has been very difficult to, you know, pull lights together and focus on me <laughs> and hair or makeup. Um, it, it's just been a really tough period, but I do realize I can't stay in that place um, forever. You know, I've got to pull myself up, put on my big girl panties and, um, you know, continue to bring you guys content. Um, this is a community of women and um, you know a lot of you guys I rely on because you, you are um, you've been on this journey um, you've experienced things so you bring your comments to um, to help everyone here that comes here um, you know seeking some kind of guidance or just to kind of take a look see to see what's going on um, I appreciate you and um, but then also I, I really think it's important that the people that do come here for the whole gray experience um, I think it's important that they see you guys as well they see your journey they see what you're going through but yeah that being said, um, I am back. <laughs> you no, know, it's been a minute, and um, just trying to get myself um, reacclimated to everything. But again, I just really wanted to come on quickly and just thank you all so much for your supportive words. I mean, every every comment, know that I have read, and and I carry those those comments and everything, you know. I, I just really appreciate you guys so much. It, it means so much. Uh, my brother was, <laughs> he was, um, he was a good guy. But anyhow, we're not going to focus on that. And um, we want this to be, you know, we need it to be upbeat. So I have um, three beautiful women that I am going to, uh, showcase here after this little video um, want you guys to check them out see their transformation yeah just enjoy it so let's check out our wine for the day okay so let's get into our libation today or this evening we and I'm so excited to present this <laughs> I have been trying to find this, I think, everywhere. I've tried almost every store here in Tennessee only to find that it's not sold in this state. So my sister, I 
obviously saw her um, this past weekend and um, look can you possibly get me this and buck shack thanks Deborah okay so buck shack is a wine that is aged in bourbon barrels produced and bottled by Shannon Ridge family of wines in Nice California so there is the bottle it's such a cute vintage looking bottle it looks like a bourbon bottle and I just love that about this it just has so much character so we're gonna give Buck Shack a shot and see what she's all about because it you can see I almost split the cork and I would have been so mad not to be able to get this out it smells great all right using my uh, Regal um, I believe this is a burgundy glass. For the record, guys, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm, nice, deep burgundy color. Oh, she smells delicious. Cherry, vanilla, blackberry. Mmm. Gosh, that smells great. Wow. That's all, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is good. Beautiful, you know, those flavors of all those dark berries, the vanilla, you can taste even a hint of that or the smell of that bourbon. Yes. That, that definitely is a stamp of approval. It is very, very, very delicious. Yeah, I love that. But cheers, Deborah. Awesome. It's a very good find. Now, Buck Shack is somewhere around that $20 to $25 price point. Um, I found it on uh, Venvino. I believe it was um, right at $19.00 and some change, so right at that $20 price point. However, for those of you guys familiar with Venvino, you know there's a $15 <laughs> shipping fee, plus your state tax. So and, um, I couldn't get it here in Tennessee, so I would probably purchase maybe two bottles or more wine today, Buck Shack. Okay guys, so um, thank you so much for, um, for watching and we are going to get in to this video with um, our beautiful before the gray and after ladies and we will see you in the next one. Okay guys, first up is Lorbeth. Now, Lorbeth decided that she wanted to transition into her gray by using crochet braids. Uh, prior to crochet braids, she did a lot of rinses. Henna, she did coffee, she did tea rinses. And then finally, she just said, you know what? I am going to just embrace my gray. Now, she was a little skeptical because she herself felt like her gray was not attractive on her. But when she decided to expose that gray, she noticed the compliments just start to flood in. This is Laura Beth now. Next up is Cynthia. Now, Cynthia decided to transition into gray by using hair extensions. Uh, she felt that that was the best way for her and she did that for three years. Now, after the extensions, she decided that she was going to let her natural hair flow and decided that she would flat iron. Well, flat ironing caused a little bit of heat damage for her. So she said, you know what? Let's big chop and let's just start all over. This is Cynthia now.
Okay guys, lastly, we have Vivian. Now, Vivian stopped coloring after she experienced a medical condition while coloring and vowed that that was it for her. So in April of 18, she decided to cut all of her hair off and go natural. And in September of 2019, she decided she was gonna grow her hair out just to see what it would look like. This is Vivian now. All right, guys, so that concludes this episode of Before the Green After. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and checking out these lovely ladies. And a special thank you to Laura Beth, Cynthia, and Vivian. See you next time.